Okay, now tuner pegs having been removed, I neglected to say that I think that what happened is that this guitar was in a case and my case with the guitar in it fell down in this direction and I think that with the tension on the strings in conjunction with the impact from the fall just served to crack the uh, headstock. So the next thing I'm going to do now is glue these two sides together and we're going to see how it goes. Okay, the glue I have is this PL Loctite Premium Glue and we're going to glue both sides and this looks like a clean snap such that we'll be able to just mesh perfectly get a stronger than before type of adherence okay with the gloves on I'm going to use this piece of paper as an applicator so here it is I'm just going to spread this glue I'm going to spread it on both sides. Okay, here we go. Get it everywhere. There's going to be some time to deal with here as we go on. I want this to be everywhere. The research that I did, this was the one that seemed to be the best. I see this glue is in that tuning peg hole. It's one thing we're going to have to clear out of there shortly after adhering. Okay, so that's one side adhered. Now for the other side. Pretty clean break. Really? Overall this is a sign of a well constructed guitar. Okay, now for the hearing. Very highly recommended to wear gloves. Okay, now here we go. And let's see here. Really putting together like this. side. Still. Okay. I think that's going to be good right there. So now what we want is vice force holding this together. But even before that, vice force, 
see a little crack there. I'm going to go ahead and clear the glue out of this hole. through the dried glue if we had to. It's not going to be a deal killer. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go with the now if this should somehow fail. I would have other options open to me, one of which would be to drill a couple of holes perpendicular and install some dowels, but that is not going to be the best thing, the thing that I really want. I have this huge vice grip, but before I even use that one, I'm going to put these small grips here. ones here. I got along with that screwdriver at the dollar store. Dollar Tree. So here's the other one. Okay. And the, but the vice grip is what's really going to give that force. There's that one. Looking down the pegs to make sure they're all lined up. Okay, here. This high. This high. So we have some stability there. Now for this monstrous clamp here. And we have the room. I'm going to put underneath these pieces of cardboard. one piece underneath and why the cardboard because with the force that will be applied I don't want to mess up the finish more than I need to Get it centered here, better like that. There we go. Just kind of right in the center. Of it. There we go. Okay. See that cardboard crimping. some of that glue. You see that crack there? That's just varnish chip crack, really. I'm just going to turn around and look at it. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. One of these smaller clamps. Wipe off the glue. Okay. Over here. 
some glue over here. It's expected to take over 24 hours to totally cure this and I'm going to have this clamped up for another couple of hours. I'm going to go down to see if I can get a couple of replacement screws for those tuny peg screws since I encountered some stripped Phillips heads there and made those a little difficult to remove. So anyway, there we are. We'll see how it goes. Okay, it's been over a couple hours and I've taken the clamps off. I'm going to let this cure for probably at least 48 hours. And the uh, didn't come out real well. There's a really a big gap. And I think the main reason is because the volume of the glue took up some space. And so it's an imperfect job, but owing what this would have cost me versus professionally at you know, the value of the guitar, I think it was the right thing to do. I'm going to now put in the tuning peg, remaining tuning pegs, and just uh, let it rest for about 48 hours and before we string it up and hope that it sounds great. Okay, well I got these tuning pegs put in place. I had a uh, little trouble with this low E one here to get through here. I had to drill out a little bit. Looks like it's the tuner's still not really leveled there. I got some more screwing in there to do. But really it's set up to cure here for another 24 to 48 hours before I start putting the tension from the strings on here. And we hope that it sounds good as new. Okay, here I am back again. It's been over 48 hours, and so I'm going to put on these Deodorio strings and we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see what she sounds like. just a little bit higher but overall considering everything I just have to be pleased that it's now repaired I have my guitar back <laughs> 